I spent 100 days in Minecraft Pixelmon as a legendary Pokemon trainer. The only rule for the next 100 days is the only Pokemon I can catch have to be legendary. I want to become the strongest Pokemon trainer on the server, but I have some goals I need to complete first. We need to get a full team of legendary Pokemon, train the whole team up to level 100, be an evil team boss, and destroy another trainer in the war zone. Will I be able to complete my goals and become the most legendary trainer? Watch until the end to find out. I upload Pixelmon videos pretty much daily, and it'd mean a lot to me if you subscribed. But let's not waste any more time and get our starter Pokemon in. Whoa! Okay, so we literally have every shiny legendary Pokemon. Oh my god. I don't know what to pick. Do we pick the Kirim because we're on the the Kirim server? Or do I get Lugia because it's my favorite shiny Pokemon? I don't know, man. But you know what? I think we have to go with my boy Shiny Rayquaza as our starter. All right, and here we are on the server. Look at our beautiful starter Pokemon, Rayquaza. Starting with a level 30 Shiny Rayquaza. That's not broken at all. That's not broken. And as you can see from the giant Kiram, we're on the Smash MC Kiram server. And if you guys want to play Pixelmon and come find me on the server, the IP is play.smashmc. Co, and it's also in the description as well as the Smash MC website and a link to download Pixelmon. But here we are and wait, what? 50-50 shiny legend key? What? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where are the crates? We gotta go here. Oh my gosh. So here are all the different crates on the server. There's the rare, the aura crate, the mega stone crate, cosmetic crate. Here's the one we have. 50-50 shiny legendary. Oh wait, no, we have this this one, the shiny legend crate. That's just shiny normal. Oh, so with this crate, we have a 50-50 chance of pulling a shiny legendary or like a Weedle or something. So we got to get lucky with that. But I think we have to earn it. No free handouts here. We got to catch our own legendary Pokemon before we can open the crate. So let me just come up here to the training area really quickly. Let's get a few levels on Rayquaza and then look for a legendary Pokemon. All right, should we start with level 10? to 20s or the 20s to 40s? I'm gonna do this one. Let's see how it goes. 25, 30, and 35. Let's see if we can take this dude on. Amon Ferno? Let me just destroy this. Rayquaza, one shot. The oh yeah, this is gonna be some easy training. He's got another Monferno. Just destroy. Just get it out of my sight. I don't wanna see it ever again. Wait, I actually love how they updated the training area. This is so much more efficient. All right, well, we didn't get a single level from that battle, so we're gonna be here for a while. Oh, I'm trying to take on the level 35 guy, but he's got a dragon type. I might just die here. Rayquaza. Wait, can I just run? I don't want to die. I don't want to lose my Rayquaza. Yeah, after almost losing to the level 35 guy, I think this grinding is going to take a minute, so I'll just catch up with you guys once we're around level 40, 45, 50, something like that. Alright, so I was able to get Rayquaza up to level 45, which should honestly be enough, but before we set out and look for some Pokemon, we need to go stock up on Pokeballs. And this shop is just awesome. You can buy berries, evolution items. Oh my god, that's a great addition. Obviously, we don't really need to evolve any Pokemon in this challenge because they're legendaries, but this is sick. You can buy ores, machines, decoratives, breeding blocks. There's even a section where you can buy like pretty much every TM in the game. So this is like an amazing shop system. But if we're gonna go for legendary Pokemon, obviously we need to stock up on some Ultra Balls. But one of the most slept on and I think the best balls for legendary Pokemon are Timer. I was gonna buy five Quick Balls, but after that, we should be good. And this legendary trait key is just staring at me. Don't worry, man. I will open you. We're gonna get a shiny legendary. And speaking of legendaries, this is the shrine area where we could summon some legendary Pokemon. But I don't know if I want to go for any of these summon Pokemon because look, 15,000 coins, 20,000, 35,000. But also for like this one, you need the red chain. So we need to catch a Zelf, Uxie, and Mesper, which are three other legendaries. And for this one, we need to find all the plates, which is just going to take forever. So I think it'll be best for us to hunt for the legends that just spawn in the wild. And all we got to do for that is just type RTP. And here we go. 
are. So here we have a snowy mountains biome, and I don't actually know if any legendaries can spawn here. And if they can, they're probably ice type, which means I don't really want them, aside from like glass dryer. Like a red ice, I mean, you can keep that. So I think our best bet is to just keep RTPing until we find a biome that we like, and then we'll just hunt there for some legends for however amount of time it takes. Ooh, and here is a nice birch forest. We actually got a chance for some water spawn legendaries as well. That is so cool. So now all we really need to do is just sit around and play the waiting game. And I just looked it up. Apparently both Zacian and Zamazenta can spawn here, which is actually really, really cool. So you know what? I might try to go for Zacian or Zamazenta for our first legendary capture. So Zacian only spawns here during the day, but Zamazenta spawns at night. So I can kind of get a chance at any time throughout the day to get either of these Pokemon. This guy in chat just said, Arpus, go Warzone. Yeah, nice try, bro. I'm not trying to lose my shiny Rayquaza, though. If you guys don't know about the Pixelmon Warzone, it's essentially a battle royale, but if you lose to a trainer, they can steal a Pokemon from you. So when we try to complete that goal in this challenge later on, there's a chance I could lose one of my legendary Pokemon. So that's why we need to make sure our team is the best it can be before we go into the Warzone. But I guess there's nothing else to do but wait around for this Pokemon to spawn, so I'll catch up with you guys once we see a legendary. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Zacian has appeared in a birch forest biome. Holy crap, guys. It's like day 10 right now. We gotta find this. We gotta find this immediately because it can despawn. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. We gotta find this. Zacian, I'm coming for you, bro. I'm coming. Where is it, man? Oh my gosh. No, dude. I don't want to lose this. I've been waiting here for so long for this Zacian. Come on, man. <gasps> yes. Okay, there it is. Holy crap. I swear to god, I would have saw this but what did I just run right past it? It's level 70. Oh no, dude. I should have trained up. I should have. I'm just going to throw a quick ball. I'm just going to throw a quick ball. Please stay in. Zacian, stay in the ball, please. Well, oh my God. What? First try. Yes. Oh my God. Holy crap. We needed that so bad. I didn't know it was going to be level 70. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't believe that. We just got ourselves our first legendary, which means we can go hit the 50-50 shiny legend key. Oh my gosh. I am so hype off of that still look. So we got two legendaries down. We got to get four more and we could get one right now. But let's make our way back to the crate area and check out this 50-50 shiny legendary crate. Of course, you guys can buy keys for these crates and open them yourself on the server if you do want. Let's head over here. Let's check the... Oh, what? I thought I was gonna like a spin a wheel or something. We just got a shiny Tapu Lele. What? Hey, yeah, look at my shiny Tapu Lele, bro. That is so clean. Level 50 as well. So we are already halfway to our goal of a full shiny legendary team on day 10 of the challenge. Zacian is actually such a good legendary to have on the team. I'm really happy about our squad so far. Let's see what Tapu Lele can do though. Ooh! I mean, it's 10 levels under, but hey, a one shot is still a one shot. I don't think grinding is going to be that bad. I mean, we're just one shotting everything, but we do have to grind up to around level 70, I guess, because that's the level that legendary Pokemon spawn. And I don't think we're ever going to get that lucky again and catch a legendary on the first ball. So we got to be prepared. But once again, I need to do some training. So I will catch up with you guys. Once everyone is around level 70, I don't think it's going to take that long. Okay. It it is around day 17 now. The whole squad is up to level 70, which is great, man. If we find any other legendaries, we should be able to square up with them just fine. But I don't think I want to go legendary hunting just yet. First things first, I think we should go over here to the Mart, jump right here, come up to the TM shop and talk to our boy, the move relearner. This will allow us to get the best move sets possible on our Pokemon, which we really want to do. But the move relearner is also great because it's completely free. So we need to take advantage of this. But I gave Rayquaza Dragon Dance, Dragon Ascent, 
you know, extreme speed. We got Moonblast on Zashi, and it's not a physical move, but at least it stabs. So you know what? This dude's been following me, but the team is pointing in the right direction, which is great. Oh wait, we actually need to come back to the shop because next I want to build a house. And thankfully in Pixelmon, you can just buy the materials. So I don't even need to go mine stuff. And I'll be the first person to admit I am absolutely terrible at building houses. So we'll see how this goes. Oh wait, and there's a raid den right out here. It'd actually be really cool to put my house next to a raid den. Let's just scout the area up here. See if it's cool. What's in this raid? I know legendaries can be in the raid den. So we got to look out for those as well. But if I cleared some of this out, this could make a decent spot. I'm going to, I'm going to try it. We're just going to see what happens if we clear this whole area out. I, I hope this looks cool. Hey, I just cleared all that out. This level 20 MPs. Leave me alone. Leave me. Don't make me hit you with a shovel. All right. Anyways, I still need to clear out some more of this terrain, but it, I feel like this could be relatively decent. All right. Well, it's time for the moment of truth. Time to figure out if you can claim in a raid den. And it seems like you can. Sweet. Well, we got our area claimed with the raid den inside. I still hope raids can spawn if they're in claimed areas. That'd be really annoying if they don't, but let's go. So now I guess I just need to fill in the rest of this. All right, well, we are all out of wood, so I I'm gonna go get some wood and uh, I'll be back. All right, so we got some more wood, thankfully, and I'm just gonna keep going at this house until it's done. Ooh, I think it could actually look cool here with white floors. I'll probably end up replacing the grass and flowers here, but wait, this could actually look sick. So I went back and I stocked up on some more snow to fill in the ground, but I also got this black glazed terracotta. I wanna try putting it around the raid den. I think that could look pretty sick. Wait a sec, this could be sick. I kind of feel bad for all the flowers that I'm just murdering, but yo, it might be worth it. I had to go back to the mart and get more glazed terracotta, but with that, oh my gosh, I gotta put some torches up. Oh, this can look so sick. I got some red nether bricks from the shop and made some red nether brick stairs. I think that could actually look really good for the roof. I think this could actually look pretty cool if we put this red. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Let's go back to the mart. I got some money from fighting some NPC trains. So you know what? I'm just gonna buy a full stack of those bricks. And let's just do it. Let's just make a bunch. We got 41 to work with, which is most definitely not enough, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm looking at it now and... <laughs> I'm actually not sure how good this will look, but we're a little too deep. So let's just do it. Well, it's the end of the day, but I think I finished the house for now. So let's see what it looks like from the outside. I definitely need to build like a staircase or something going up to it, but it looks pretty cool. We got some torches on the outside. But look at this. I got the torches in here. I think this looks sick, man. Put a glass ceiling up here. So hopefully we can still see the light from the raid den. But dude, how cool would it be to get a legendary in our own house? But I think I've spent enough time on my house for now. Let's go hunt for another legendary Pokemon. Well, first things first, we need to take a trip to the Mart and buy some Pokeballs. And here we are. Here's the guy. But like I said, there's no way we're going to get that lucky again. So we should just get as many Ultra Balls as we can, which is four. Hey, those four can make a huge difference. Time to RTP. Let's find our next Pokemon. But I'm looking at our team and the times four weakness to ice on Rayquaza is, man, that's sketchy. So I think it'd honestly be pretty decent if we went for a water type legendary Pokemon. I know there's a few legendaries that spawn in the water. Obviously, Kyogre does at a certain depth. I think Manaphy as well. But I'm not gonna lie to you guys, hunting in the water for Pokemon is so annoying. Thankfully, I think this, yes, it is a beach biome and a certain legendary Pokemon spawns here. Well, I love how this is the first biome too we found out of our TP. It usually takes me so long to find where I want to go. But once again, we simply just need to wait around for another legendary to spawn. I just hope it doesn't take forever. The legendary Pokemon that I want to hunt for here on the beach is Suicune, which only spawns at beach biomes at nighttime. So we got to wait until it's night and then we have our chance. So it's been a few days here now looking for Suicune and honestly, no luck at all. Not only am I not getting a Suicune to spawn, but I'm not seeing that many Pokemon. Like there's a Binacle, Poochiana right there, and a Delmize, but other than that, in the water Pokemon, there's like nothing spawning. Wait, wait, wait. Suicune spawned in a beach? Is this me? Is this me? It has to be me. Where? Yes! Oh my god, we have been waiting for this for so long. Oh my god. All right.
right, all right. First things first, we gotta throw a quick ball. Just see if this is an easy one. Oh, I can't believe we actually got the one we wanted. Let's go, baby. Come on, just stay in the quick ball. No. Okay, that's fine, though. I have a little bit of a strategy for catching this. Nature's Madness always does half of the target's HP. Oh, all right. I guess I can't really use my strat. I don't think I have any revives. I don't know the one strategy I had for catching this. All right, well, I know for sure Iron Head. Yeah, that's not gonna do anything. I'm gonna risk it and go for one more. Please don't crit. Thank you. Okay, okay. Mirko, it's gonna fail. That's not a special attack. My heart is pounding so fast, man. I I do not want to lose this. It broke free. No. Come on. The ultra. Why is the ultra ball always behind me? That makes no sense. No, I feel like it keeps getting so close. Okay, I'm gonna move to the timer balls now. We got 10 of these to go. Let's see if we can make this happen. Dude, our Zacian is getting down to low health. We do have Rayquaza in the back, but man, it is honestly getting really scary. We need to catch it in one of these next couple balls. I'm gonna throw some ultra balls now. I should have definitely grabbed some potions, but I think I just spent all my money on balls, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Yes, that's three shakes. No, it was so close, dude. No, <laughs> I think it froze. Round two, I guess. We have like no Pokeballs though. This is gonna be so bad, man. Like I knew this 100 days challenge was gonna be hard, but oh my God, man. There's just so much luck. We gotta get lucky to get the Pokemon. We gotta get lucky to catch the Pokemon. I need to find some Master Balls or something. No way! The Pokeball! Thank you, and there we go. We have caught in our fourth legendary Pokemon. We got ourselves a Suicune. Oh my god. Let's go, baby. Oh! <laughs> With the Pokeball, too. Wait, someone said in chat, what with a Pokeball? <laughs> I, wait, what? He's hacking. What? Oh, because I got the advancement for catching a Pokemon with a Pokeball and capturing a Suicune. I sat in that battle and wasted like 60 Ultra Balls and Timer Balls, and now I'm hacking because I caught it with a Pokeball? What? Anyways, we're going back to our... Oh, it's a Beautifly raid at our house. That's pretty cool. But we got to check out our Suicune. What nature is it? Gentle. Oh, that's actually not good. I haven't really checked out our other natures. Naughty's pretty decent, honestly. I mean, right now we're running a physical special Rayquaza, so that's a really good nature. Nature. Ooh, Zashian's nature, though, is terrible. That's so bad. These moves on Suicune are absolutely terrible. Hold on. We need to warp to the mark real quick. Let's go up here and talk to our best friend, the move we learned. And we got we to gotta do some work on Suicune. And I think this is a pretty decent move set for now without spending any money. Obviously, at some point, we need to farm a bunch of money. Oh, I need to get down here. How do I get down? Get, go down, go down. Go down. There we go. Okay. Well, we need to farm a crap ton of money so we can blow it all on moves and TMs for our Pokemon. We can buy all the EV training items so we can get our Pokemon as strong as possible. And then we can start working towards the goals of beating the evil team boss and a player in the war zone. But before we start training our whole team up, I think it just makes sense to get our full team. So we should probably start thinking about what legendary Pokemon we want to get next. Ooh, and what we got here? Oh, nothing. Of course. Course, nothing in the chest. But I'm not gonna lie, the Desert Hills biome might be a decent place to look for a legendary. Number one, because it's super flat and really easy to see when a Pokemon spawns. And number two, there's actually only like two legendaries that spawn in the desert. Firstly, you can get Volcanion by Desert Lakes, but most importantly, Groudon spawns in the desert. More specifically, the Desert Hills, which, okay, they're right there, awesome. So I don't know, I think this might be the next legendary I want to hunt for. We can also keep our eyes out for a time space altar, which is used to summon Arceus, Dialga, Palkia, and Giratina, but we'd have to build the red chain, which we have to catch a Zelf, Uxie, and Mesprit, which are three legendaries, so I don't think we're gonna do that. And oh my god, I almost forgot to stock up on balls. Hold up, slash back. All right. <laughs> Imagine if we got into the Groudon battle without stocking up on Pokeballs and we only had Poke... Oh, my God. But no worries. I decided not to throw... Ooh, we got Lava over there. That's perfect for Groudon. But Groudon spawns in the Desert Hills daytime on land. So I guess it's time just to play the waiting game. Guys, I know there's a lot of waiting and skipping around throughout this 100 days, but I mean, I gotta wait for the legendaries to spawn. But trust me, as soon as we got our full squad of legendaries, we'll get right into the action. And you guys don't want to miss it. But yeah, I'll see you guys when I find Groudon or inevitably go insane from all this waiting. Torkoal, Torkoal, I know. I have spent three days in this desert, but I've made two friends. Look, they're spinning. I'm not sure why they're spinning, but they're, they're, they're spinning and they're my friends. I'm talking to a rock. Someone help me. Please, please. 
please, dude. Please, dude. A Groudon has spawned in the dead. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. All right, all right, all right, all right. We got to catch this right now. This has taken way too long. And look at him doing these 360s. What? All right, Groudon, I need you to stop spinning around. We're going to go for the Nature's Madness. Half that. Oh no, he's going for bulk up. No. Don't miss. You can't miss Nature's Madness. There you go. Okay, there we go. Half the HP again. And one more time. Dude, that took so long. We're on day, what, 43 now? That is crazy. Okay, there is no way I am failing a grout. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it hit Fisher. The one hit KO. Please. It shit. Where is the ball? Wait, what? <laughs> that was like our third or fourth try. Oh, my God. And it's nighttime now, too. So we just barely got that grout on spawn. But, bro, let's go. We are one step closer, one Pokemon away from the full legendary team. Oh, my God. All right, let's go back to spawn real quick because we need to decide what our final legendary capture is going to be. But in order to catch Pokemon, we need Pokeballs and we also need money. Oh, my gosh. So either I'm going to have to grind for some money or we're just going to have to go into this final legendary battle with all of these Pokeballs. We could literally complete this goal right now, too, if we just had a GS ball, if we just had all of the plates here for the Art Chalice. Oh, wait, that's just how you get the Azure Flute, and then you have to use it here with the Red Chain to get Arceus. We're never gonna be able to do that, at least within this 100 days. That is a lot to do. Let's make our way back to our house. We gotta drop some stuff off real quick. I guess I can put this healer right here. Hey, there we go, there we go. We're turning this house into a home, all right? That's what we're doing. What? Ooh. Who is this? Oh, it's an NPC. Okay, bro, you can leave me alone. I thought that was a dude. No, stay, stay away. Yes, yeah, stay away, sir. All right, but it's a new day now, and I think I know what Pokemon we're gonna hunt for next. Since we're doing a legendaries only challenge, I think it just makes sense to go for one of the very first legendary Pokemon ever created. And it just so happens that it's also one of my favorite legendary Pokemon. And that legendary Pokemon is Mew. And Mew spawns in the jungle biome. So I'll wait. No, is this actually a jungle? I'm just waiting for it to spawn in. It's a jungle edge. I don't know if that counts. All right, here's the jungle, dude. That is so funny. Literally the second I was like, we gotta find a jungle. First RTP'd biome. Anyways, Mew spawns here during the day on land. So as usual, I think the strat will just be to hang out in this jungle and hopefully we can find it once it spawns. Because I'm pretty sure Mew can spawn up in the trees and it can also spawn here down on the ground. So I have no no idea what's the best way to look for this. But what I do know is we are not ending this video without a Mew on the team. All right, I got an idea here. We're gonna get up on the trees, right? And we're just gonna stay here. I feel like this gives us a decent lookout on like all the Pokemon down here. But oh my God, the trees just block so much. I'm scared it's gonna spawn and we're just not gonna be able to find it. But either way, the hunt for Mew starts right now. I'll catch up with you guys when it spawns. And after that, we're training up the team, getting ready for the boss fight and the war zone. All right, so around three days have passed and obviously no Mew, but look at this, look at this. We got Simi Sage right here and our boy Pan Sage right there. It's perfect. Little father-son bonding sesh. I see you guys. Like I said, still no Mew. Yes! No, I heard that immediately. I heard that immediately, and it is a Mew. Oh my god. Oh, dude, my heart is beating so fast. It's right there. It is literally right there. Thank you. Okay, I wanted that to be so easy to find. Now we just gotta get down without dying. Oh my god. <laughs> dude, please. Please don't let me die. Don't let me die. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Mew, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Okay, it's right there. If we catch this, we are officially done with our first goal. <gasps> <laughs> okay, we are in the battle. We got to swap here, though. We got to swap to Tapu Lele because you already know exactly what strat we're going for. Nature's... Oh, wait. Mew spawns at level 50, not 70. Interesting. No, it has a healing move. Oh, that's going to make it so much harder to catch. I'm not going to lie. Okay, one more Nature's Madness here. Please don't life do. This gives us a chance for an Ultra Ball. I really wish we had, like, Paralyze or Sleep or some sort of status, but... Oh, my God. We just got to get lucky like we did with Groudon. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. No freaking way what <laughs> first ultra ball baby let's go and just like that we have completed our goal of a full legendary squad oh i can't believe it man all right we're in an open area i want to see all of my pokemon let's go we got the full legendary squad out here oh i'm so happy man so we are on day 55 and we just finished our first goal but hey all right i am very very happy with it all we gotta do now is get the team 
game up to level 100 and then we're gonna take on the boss go in the war zone it's about to be crazy so let's warp to the training room really quick but dude i think we did that really fast honestly like going into this challenge i was not sure how long it take to actually get the full team of legendaries but i think we did great in this challenge and it honestly shouldn't be too hard to level up these pokemon because we can just go fight the oh my god never mind we can't fight this dude with uh uh please don't please don't kill me okay there we go sweet we beat the t-tar oh wait there's more t-tars though okay hold up let me get out of there we gotta heal our pokemon real fast but it really shouldn't be too hard to grind i think it'll just be a little annoying to level up mew because it's level 50 and not 70 but our next goal is to get this squad up to level 100 so i'm gonna be spending a lot of time in this training room so right now i think i'm just gonna see how long it takes to get tapu lele all the way up to level 100 so i'll catch up with you guys when we have tapu lele at 100 and then we can kind of see how long it'll take for the rest of the team to be there too and just like that tapu lele is level 100 and honestly that didn't take long at all that was only like three days so we're on day 58 with a full legendary squad and a level 100 tapu lele but honestly we still have a lot of work to do even once we get these pokemon up to level 100 because once they're level 100 we still need to ev train them we still need to get the right moves on all these pokemon it's gonna be a lot but honestly zashian should be another really easy pokemon to get to 100 so i'll just catch up with you guys when zashian is 100 i'm just gonna spam kill these tyranitars and one more pokemon there we go zashian is level 100 that didn't take long at all so we got two pokemon up to level 100 only four more and then we can take on the evil team boss and then once we're done with the boss that's when we'll ev train that's when we'll teach the best moves and hop into the war zone but until then i have a lot of training to do so i'll catch up with you guys when the whole squad is level 100 and no oh, i missed the blizzard we're literally one move away there is level 100 on suicune and level 100 on the full squad. Let's get it. The second goal of the challenge has been complete. Oh my God. I, I spent so many days in this room looking at these three dudes. But hey, each and every one of you, thank you sincerely. All right, I'm leaving. Now that the full team is up to level 100, it's time to take on the evil team boss. And I heard the evil team boss shows up at nighttime at our house. First things first, I want to take Mew to the move. Oh, no, we jump. There we go. To the move relearning. I don't think there's anything crazy. I just wanted to see what we can do. But I want to make sure we get the TM for Ice Beam. I was able to grind for some money. We have just around 10k, so I'm going to cop Ice Beam because I think we need to teach this to Suicune for Blizzard. I was missing too many Blizzards against those guard chomps. I'm not missing one. But I'm going to wait until we're done with the evil team boss fight to do all the EV training and teaching everything any other moves we might need because honestly i'm fiending to fight this boss i just want to fight him right now so let's tp to our house and i guess we just gotta wait it out until nighttime all right so i actually decided to take a break from recording so it's now a new real life day as well as a new minecraft day but something really cool about the smash mc servers that you get special bonuses and prizes for logging into the server daily and my reward for logging in today was three wishing pieces which is perfect because we have a raid den right in our house and it's also perfect because there's no raid currently in this den so let's just chuck one of these wishing pieces in there and we have a fungus raid this should be pretty easy let's just do this if we could possibly get a legendary raid from one of these pieces that'd be insane oh my god my house does not have enough room for this <laughs> i'm trying so hard to keep this battle like in the frame of what you guys can see but it's nearly impossible but we go for dragon ascent and it's just one shot the fungus let's go look we get some dynamax candy some exp candy you know what let's see if we can catch the fungus i'm not gonna use it but you know what it's a fungus and we didn't even catch it so that's just nice that fungus knew it wasn't supposed to stay in the pokeball it's like bro i'm not a legendary what are you doing but let's see what we get here Ooh, an ivysaur raid i'm definitely doing this as well because not only do we have the chance to spawn a legendary pokemon raid but you get some really good
good rewards just for beating these raids, so we might as well. And Ivysaur goes down, and look at that. We get a rare candy. I mean, our Pokemon are already level 100, so we can't really use EXP candy, but I guess the Dynamax candy is cool. But for our last wishing piece, please, 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 it's a Zubat. I mean, of course I'm gonna do the battle. I'd be kind of stupid not to do it. Let's just knock the Zubat out, see what kind of prize. Oh, we got a nugget. That's an easy $5,000 just for battling a Zubat. I'll take it. And look, this guy in chat just asked if I'm doing a YouTube video, but I can't even reply. It says, can I'm like banned from the entire chat. I have no idea why. Hashtag let Arpus chat in the comments, please. But hold on, now that we got that nugget, let's go ahead and sell it. And you know, I guess I'll sell this rare candy too. Like I said, all my Pokemon are already level 100. So <laughs> it's not like we'll really need them anymore, but we definitely need some hyper potions. So I'm gonna grab like 10 of those. You know, what? I'm gonna grab two revives too, just in case. I'm just trying to do some final preparations before we take on the evil team boss who should show up, like I said, at our house at night. You know what? Let me grab one of every power item too, just while I'm at it, because we'll need these later while we EV train for the war zone. Because I mentioned this before, but if you lose a battle in the war zone, the winner gets to steal a Pokemon from you. So I'm not trying to get any of my legendary Pokemon stolen. That would be very bad, especially because we worked so hard for them. All right, so I got all our random items in that chest and it is nighttime. Let's see if we can find this evil team boss. And he's, he's literally right there. Giovanni, my boy, what's going on? I'm actually kind of scared. He's just standing there ominously. How we doing, bro? What's up? Oh, he's level 100. Okay, thank God we grinded all of our Pokemon to 100. I think we just come up here and we battle Giovanni. Oh my gosh. He leads off with this Doug tree. I think I just need to kill this immediately. It has Arena Trap. I can't switch out. Oh, the Mewtwo. Giovanni just brought out Mewtwo. What do I even do to this? Okay, I'm gonna send out Mew, I guess. All right, here's your child. I feel like I should have just stayed in Suicune. I'm just gonna go to Suicune here on the Ice Beam. We eat that up. I'm gonna go for Surf here. I just really want Suicune at high HP since it's gonna be good on Giovanni's team. You know what? Unfortunately, I think I just have to let Suicune die. That really sucks. Sometimes a Pokemon needs to die for the greater good. Sashian, we're gonna go for an Iron Head. We hang on. We're gonna go for another Iron Head, which does thankfully take it out. But here is Rhyperior. I'm just gonna go for close combat. How much is that gonna do? It does a lot. Oh my gosh. Wait, that's really bad. We're gonna go to Tapu Lele. <gasps> Okay, Nidoking is here. Thankfully, we do have Mew and Groudon still in the back. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad we have Groudon. We're gonna go for the Psy Shock, which does one shot the Nidoking. Another Psy Shock on the Nidoqueen. Critical hit, and we have taken down Giovanni. We just got $24,000 for winning. Giovanni has a disappeared, and I think we just beat Team Rocket. But best of all, we just completed another goal, and we are one goal away from completing leading this 100 days challenge. Perfect timing too, because it is now a new day and let me heal up my squad. Oh my gosh. And now we only have one more goal to accomplish and that is beat another trainer in the war zone. So we use slash warp EVs to come here to the EV center. We're going to be spending a lot of time here. And this guy just gave me a photo of Quagsire. Sweet. Wait, I can put it on my head? Yo! What? Bro! I'm keeping this off for the rest of the video. I don't care. Thank you so much. This is literally the funniest thing ever. Okay, I'm so happy. What? I'm wearing a Necrozma on my head now. What? I feel like this is making my game lag or something. I'm going back to Quagsire, but I can't even thank him in chat because it says I'm banned. Look, dude, I'm trying as hard as I can. It says cannot send message. Hashtag let Arpus chat. But anyways, before I get too distracted, each of these items correspond to a specific stat of Pokemon. So since I want our Suicune to have max HP, I'm gonna give it the power weight and we are gonna go to the HP section right here and just battle a bunch of Pokemon. Like, I'm talking a lot of Pokemon, but thankfully EV training is very, very easy on the Smash MC server, but this can still take a decent amount of time considering we do have six Pokemon to train up. And if you ever want to check the EVs of your Pokemon, simply just type slash EVs and then the slot number of the Pokemon and boom, there you go. So unfortunately, Suicune already had some EVs on it, but honestly, I'm not going to care too much about that. But anyways, my boy Quagsire and I have some EV training to do so, you know, we'll catch up with you guys once we're done with that.
All right, and after that, our whole team should be perfectly EV trained up. Something I remembered is with these berries, you can actually delete EVs off your Pokemon. So if I do slash EVs three, you can see that Rayquaza only has EVs in attack and speed. So thank you, berries, for that. I really appreciate it. But guys, I messed up. I honestly messed up a lot, and that's because I just realized Zacian can't even go into the war zone. Zacian is actually in the anything goes category for battling, and I'm pretty sure the war zone only goes up to OU. So this unfortunately means we need to find a replacement for our boy Zacian. We could stay here in this wooded hills biome and wait for a legend to spawn, or go to this den and throw in wishing pieces. But if we head to the Smash MC website, Smash mc.co slash category slash lucky blocks also in the description we can actually buy different tiers of lucky blocks and the rare and epic blocks contain legendaries so of course if you guys do want to buy and open lucky blocks for yourself on the server i'll leave the link in the description but i think we got to go with the shiny legendary epic lucky block and then you should end up with an epic lucky block just like this but okay we gotta open this up and catch whatever pokemon is inside. Actually, hold on. Since we are catching another legendary Pokemon, I need to get some more Ultra Balls. I know I said we weren't going to need to buy these again, but I didn't think we'd have to find another Pokemon. Just imagine if this is another Zacian or a Zamacenta. I'm going to laugh so hard. But without further ado, our $25 shiny legendary Pokemon. Come on. Come on. This has got to be big. Let's see what it's going to be. Three, two, one. Oh my god. Oh, oh it's a shiny Entei. I wonder if this is 100% catch. Is it just going to stay in? Come on, make this easy on me. It would have been a waste of money, but please. So I wasted some money buying the Ultra Balls, but hey, we got ourselves a shiny Entei. And let me just pull him out of the PC. I just won for leveling up. Wait, I can't put it down. Oh, there we go. I was about to say, I can't put a PC down in my own house, but there we go. We'll swap Entei for Zacian. Dude, seeing a shiny legendary will never get old. Welcome to the team, Entei. All right, but since Entei is level 70, this does mean we have a little more training to do. I gotta get him up to level 100, as well as fully EV train. So, hey, I'll catch up with you guys when we actually have a full team. One more Pokemon to go. Come on, Entei. And just like that, level 100. Let me leave this battle. That actually took a while because look, this dude has Garchomps and this dude has Tyranitars, both of which Entei could not kill. Well, I was forced to train on only level 60 Gengars, which was fine, but that took a lot longer than it needed to. But of course, we are not fully done. We gotta come up here to my boy, the Mover Learner. Ooh, we could definitely make use of E-Speed. That'll be great. And I think that's a decent enough moveset right now without buying any TMs. That's okay. I will never get tired of seeing this Quagsire on my head. I'm not gonna lie. And now we just come back to the EV training area because we gotta train up Entei. And once that's done, we'll head to the TM area, make sure all of our Pokemon have the best moveset possible, and hop into the war zone. Which honestly, I am terrified of. I don't want to lose any of my legendary Pokemon. So whatever happens, we need to win the first battle for sure. And just like this, that, look at that. Entei is all EV trained up, and we can now focus on the rest of our team. So we're up to day 90 now, around 10 more days left in the challenge. Let's head up here to buy some TMs, because not only do we have to get ready for the war zone, but there's actually another challenge I want to do. I want to see if we can take down a legendary tier boss with our squad. A legendary tier boss is the highest tier the bosses can go up to, so I I need to make sure my Pokemon are perfect. Ooh, and I think I'm actually gonna buy Will-O-Wisp so we can teach this to our Entei. This could be a good idea. Yeah, we're gonna get Will-O-Wisp on Entei just like that. So now that our team is the strongest it can possibly be, let's head up here to the boss tower, jump up all... Oh my gosh, look at that. I think that's a common level boss. Yeah, common. Let's see what level this is. 110. So if this is 110, what is the legendary boss? Boss gonna be. Oh my gosh. Let's go all the way up to the highest level. Oh, there's a rare boss seismitoad right there. There we go. I think this is the final and highest level of the boss tower. Oh, we got an epic boss Don fan right there. So close to what we're looking for. I think the gold bosses are what we want. It doesn't matter what level these legendary bosses spawn on, and you can also find them in the wild, so we don't have to do it here. But obviously, it's just easier to do it in the boss tower because it's all boss Pokemon. Let me see what we can do against this. 
this mighty Anna though real quick. Come on, Earthquake, come on. It's gotta do a decent amount. It's a mighty Anna at the end of the day. I don't care if it's level 110. I'm a Groudon, you are dead. Ooh, another rare boss. This is level 120, bro. What is the legendary gonna be level? It's gonna be 130 or something. Oh, I don't know why I got excited when this spawned. It's just green, man. We're looking for gold. Oh, I just got the leftovers and the wise glasses from one. That is insane. I mean, this strat seems to be working. Like, Pokemon keep spawning in. We just got a rare boss tentacruel here, but no legendaries yet. Another uncommon boss right here. No, not getting any luck with these legendary bosses at all. But I am getting a lot of money, so hey, I'm not gonna complain too much. Ooh, another epic boss, but it's Rapidash this time. That is actually really sick. And here's another epic boss right here, Gigalith. Dude, where is my legendary? Oh, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Legendary boss, Gliscor, level 140. Dude, I hope we can even beat this. This took so long to spawn, but we finally found it. And oh my God, it went for knockoff. Hold on. I'm really not trying to have a Pokemon. I'm, I might as well just stay in and just go for another ice beam. Do we just one shot it or two shot it? And it's gone. So all that waiting just to destroy it. But we got a choice card and we got five thousand pokey dollars that is so sick so now that we've beaten the legendary boss and completed the rest of our goals there's only one more thing to do and that's go into the war zone first things first let's drop off all of the random items we just won that was a pretty successful boss fighting journey outing whatever you want to call it and it's now a new day hello son and i just want to check out the mark i want to see if there's any like item i could buy for great route on potentially but actually better than the citrus berry this enigma berry right here we can regain one fourth of our max hp that is so good and with that item the team is finally ready to head into the war zone and it's time for us to complete our last goal of the 100 days legendary pokemon only challenge and it is now day 99 meaning we only have one more day left in our challenge and one more challenge to do and oh my gosh guys i am so nervous because it's time to go into the war zone a place where if we lose a battle the opponent can steal a pokemon from our team but let me just do one thing real quick hey we got legendary pokemon let's put a legendary on our head there we go so now there's only one thing left to do and that's type slash war zone let's do this man I my heart is pounding. I am so nervous. I am not trying to lose my team. And here we are. We got to find a trainer fast. And just look how cool the Warzone is, guys. You have to try this out on the server. It is so much fun. Oh my god, is that a Crystal Groudon? Did a Crystal Groudon spawn? I am so confused. Oh, I see someone right there. No, he's trying to get away. Oh, is that his Crystal Groudon? Oh my god, this guy has a Crystal Groudon, and I just challenged him to a battle. I am absolutely terrified. Oh, this, this is an awful idea. I'm gonna go into my Entei here on the Ferrothorn. And he just self-destructs. Thank God the Ferrothorn's gone, but that did so much damage to us. Okay, a Blaziken. Yo, we outsped. Yo, that's what EV training does. It makes us so much faster. Let's go, baby. Okay, so we got Suicune out now. Let's see what he sends out next, though. We got two Pokemon down, guys. Oh, oh Lugia. Bro, if we win this, we need to steal this Lugia. He poisons us. No. And we froze the Lugia. Look at that. <laughs> and we're getting that leftovers recovery. Buzzswall comes out. Okay, hopefully I outspeak his extra sensory should just one shot it. Bro, this is going so well. Oh my god, and there's a trainer right next to us, too. There is a trainer right next to us. He's just waiting to see who wins this. All right, we got a Weavile now. I'm just clicking surf. Okay, he does take out Suicune, which is honestly really bad because, oh my god, Weavile destroys the rest of my team. Okay, I guess I go Tapu Lele here, and we can just go for the Moonblast straight up. Takes out the Weavile. I'm so happy we trained this. Gengar comes out. Okay, wait. I guess we just go to Groudon here. I have no idea what the play is. Yes. Yeah, we just Earthquake. Gengar goes down. And there we go. Okay, this is what's gonna happen. I gotta take this Lugia 100%. GG, bro. We made it out. We did it. I thought that other guy was gonna battle me and try to steal one of the Pokemon we just got. I cannot believe we did that. Not only did we win the battle, but we also won a Lugia. Speaking of Lugia, let's type slash WZ. Grab our Lugia and oh my gosh. What a great way to wrap up our goals and finish off this challenge. Thank you guys so much for watching this 100 days. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more Pixelmon content.